Welcome Pisces to your February 2023 love reading. I'm going to take a look at past, present, future energies when it comes to your love life. We'll look at what's in your environment, what are your hopes and fears, what are your strengths in the situation, and let's see what is the likely outcome when it comes to love in February 2023. I hope all of you are doing well. Please note this is a general reading, so only take the messages that apply to you and leave the rest behind. So let's look at past, present, future. Okay, let's look at what's perhaps crossing you. Are you conscious of what's energy that's visible to you? What's invisible to you? Okay, let's just push these a little bit down. Okay, and let's look at what are your strengths in the situation? What's in the environment? hopes and fears and what is the likely outcome we'll put that over here at the bottom of the deck i see the nine of wands okay so i see uh pisces you've been a bit um tired wounded exhausted in love perhaps yeah i think there's been an ending with the ten of swords and something that has left you feeling really disappointed or you feel like there's been a lost opportunity and you're lost out on something that you were really hoping could work out i'm really sorry pisces if that's what is resonating with you right now but you know we'll get you some guidance in this spread and let's see what your spirit team has for you you've got the chariot in the recent past we've got hierophant and the present energy the six of swords um the king of wands coming in in the near future you're conscious of the queen of pentacles what's invisible to you is the six of cups look at your strengths the high priestess in your environment is a king of swords your hopes and fears is the nine of cups and the likely outcome in this situation is the strength card okay interesting so let's start from this side of the spread okay so what i see pisces is that in the recent past maybe you decided to move away from a situation that had stopped working out for you this could be a relationship a partnership something you decided to move away from um and this could be a, a very um long-term commitment maybe you were married to this person and right now you're in a bit of a transition period and that's why maybe you feel a little bit uncomfortable and you feel like this wounded warrior in love because you know you'll get to the other side you know that better times await you but right now it's a little bit difficult because you're partly in the past and you're partly you know sort of looking forward to the future as well so you're sort of in that in-between state right now pisces what you're very conscious of and what's very visible to you is this queen of pentacles so maybe you were dealing with a taurus virgo capricorn energy or this simply means that perhaps with this uh, separation or perhaps some of you have just gotten divorced um you are thinking about money and maybe there was a little bit of discussion around splitting the assets and things like that so therefore you're trying to be very resourceful uh, maybe there's been some change in your financial standing at the current moment i think if you are in a committed relationship um you've decided to move on from a difficult situation and you are in a bit, bit of a transition period what's invisible to you is that there is still something from the past that you keep thinking about or somebody from the past is still thinking about you with the six of cups what's coming in is this king of wands could be an aries leo sagittarius uh, somebody that you know somebody um, maybe if it's somebody that's not from your past somebody new is coming in and this could be a fire sign your strengths are pisces that you're showing up strong in your own energy with the high priestess you're very intuitive you're trusting your gut instinct when it comes to matters of the heart in your environment is the ability to think very logically to step away from your emotions and really think clearly with this king of swords or there's a gemini libra aquarius energy around you or maybe some of you are dealing with lawyers because this can also mean a lawyer and somebody who's helping you work through the separation or this divorce as the case might be or if that's not your story then this is simply somebody who's very objective very clear-headed who can help you um, in this current situation and then we've got this nine of cups in your hopes and fears you're hoping that soon you can feel happy you can feel fulfilled again uh, because you're coming out of a difficult time with this nine of wands you're really hoping for happiness to come back into your love life the likely outcome is strength so the likely outcome is very positive pisces that you'll be able to 
have the courage find the courage to rise above any difficulties and basically come out victorious so let's get you some clarifiers and let's build on this story here so firstly show me what is the chariot in the recent past what is the chariot in the recent past you've got the chariot again okay wow double confirmation um, the three of uh, pentacles so something had stopped working out and you've decided to move on from it or it could be that uh, this is a very specific message will not resonate with everyone but will resonate with a small group of you perhaps there was a third party situation and when i say third party it doesn't have to be a third person involved in your relationship it could very well mean that but it could also just mean that maybe work was an interference in your relationship and it was not letting you uh, do justice to your relationship and you decided to move away from uh, something that was a hindrance to your partnership and you want to make this work and give it um, and take it to a higher level commitment with the Hierophant. That could be somebody's story as well. What's the Hierophant? Let's ask. What's the Hierophant then? Yeah, the Queen of Wands. Uh, wow, look at this. The King of Wands to the Queen of Wands. So I do see for uh, people who are single, who are not thinking about somebody from the past, I see a divine counterpart coming in with the King of Wands. So yeah, that's really positive. Um, for some others, I think you decided to take a bold action and decided to move on from a commitment or a relationship. Let's look at the King of Wands. What's coming in? Amazing. So you're stepping into your power. You're going to be attracting and not chasing. You're getting into this energy where, you know, you want to birth something new in your uh, in your life. Or for some of you who are trying to get pregnant, this might be uh, a very good sign that you are able to conceive and you uh, are thinking about starting a family and uh, you do see uh, success in that direction. But for some others, it simply means you're attracting love and you're attracting the right kind of love and the right kind of partner with this King of Wands. What's invisible to you is the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? The Six of Pentacles, the Fool and Justice interesting so, so one for people who are in a legal matter and are getting formally sort of separated divorced all of that um, i think this finally brings back balance into your life and you gives you the courage to start a new chapter in your life with the fool card and finally take a leap of faith towards happiness towards a new beginning for some others, I think somebody from your past wants to have a brand new beginning with you. They're hoping that they can bring balance back into the situation, correct the scales of karma, come back, correct the situation, bring balance back into the situation. Maybe in the past, the situation didn't work out because it seemed very imbalanced. One person was giving a lot or one person was not pulling enough weight in the connection so therefore this person wants to come back and have a brand new beginning and bring balance into the situation but this is invisible to you libra so sorry did i just call you libra that's interesting because this is the libra card i mean this is invisible to you pisces right now so uh but somebody from the past is wanting to have a brand new beginning with you you're showing up as somebody who's really trusting um their gut you're listening to your intuition you're very intuitive uh, you're keeping your cards close to your chest. So whatever you're thinking about a certain situation, you're not telling a lot of people about it. You're kind of keeping it um, to yourself. What's this high priestess? Strength card. And we have strength in your likely outcome as well. So I think you're finding the courage to keep it all within you. And maybe some of you are really tempted to just come out and say it all. Maybe some of you are really angry about this situation in the past. But you're doing everything in your power to, you know, sort of keep it all within you and not kind of lose your cool completely, Pisces, uh, which is nice. You're basically self-regulating and trying to exercise control here. What's the King of Swords in your environment? The Nine of Cups. There is a wish fulfillment and that's your hopes and fears. So that's amazing. Whatever you're hoping for with this Nine of Cups actually exists in your environment already. So that's really nice. Maybe something for you to think about. The clarity, the uh, the communication, the conversation perhaps that you're hoping for that will make you feel fulfilled and happy is actually within your environment right now. That's amazing. Show me one more on this nine of cups. Just swords. Exactly. So I think there is something either that you want to get off your chest. This was the message that I was getting here as well, that you want to come out and say your piece. Uh, I think you will find an opportunity to do that um, quite soon and that will make you quite happy and your hopes and fears are that basically you are able to 
be happy with it in your own self. You find ways to fulfill your own self. Let's talk about the likely outcome with the strength card. The five of pentacles, the eight of wands and the eight of pentacles. Beautiful. So whatever has left you feeling um, isolated, unhappy, left out in the cold as if nobody was here to help you. This could also be financial troubles or maybe there were some money issues involved in this partnership. And that's been a big bone of contention in this separation. Uh, I see you getting forward momentum on that. I see things picking up. So whether it's work, a job, things like that, I see more money coming in. You working really hard to get to your financial abundance, to get to your financial success. And with these eight of wands, a lot of people want to communicate with you, want to work with you. So if you have your own business, I think these are like new orders or new clients coming in. So I do see good things coming in. That's amazing with the strength card. And you will find yourself to be in a very strong position. You'll come out on top basically is what they're trying to tell you, your spirit team. So let's get you some romance angels for the month of February. Let's see. Okay, honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So some of you might go on a little trip after resolving this entire situation. Some of you uh, who perhaps resonated with that story that you were single and you were hoping for somebody new to come in, I think you might meet somebody on a trip. This um, king of wands who you know wants to offer his or her or their love to you and put in the effort or if you're not like this is a reminder that do put in the effort when you feel like you've met the right person and stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance oh that's beautiful pisces and at the bottom of the deck we have let your friends help you so ask for and accept support from others from a difficult situation you move into self-fulfillment you move into a position of strength if it's about financial uh, difficulties in the recent past i see all of that changing for the better uh, if some of you thinking about a person from the past i think that person from the past is also thinking about you and perhaps is even hoping for a new beginning where things are balanced and where this connection could have another shot um so yeah take the messages as they resonate for you pisces do leave me a comment um, in the comment section below and let me know how this reading resonated with you please do hit that like button for me and subscribe to my channel it really helps the channel grow thank you and i'll be back soon take care pisces